football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Western Michigan Broncos and the Clemson Tigers. If it's excitement you're looking for, well, you've come to the right place as the early college football season continues. And here come the Tigers. The Broncos may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Clemson has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Nice pick, Kirk. Hey, guys, I'm full with the Tigers. Western Michigan tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Sherman fields it in the end zone. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game today. That makes two of us in. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 29. Three wideouts to the right side. A little juice, and now the ball is loose. Rucker with a takedown. They narrowly escape there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Third and nine. Ball on their own 30. Johnson has five receivers lined up here. He's looking across the middle. His receiver has it. Patrick brings him down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Johnson with three wide receivers. Johnson to the air on first down. Looks. Throws to the middle. And it's the tight end. To the 20. Patrick with a takedown. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and 10. They're inside the 20. One man backfield. Johnson drops back on first down. And now he's got room to run. And they push him out. A 10-yard gain. The Tigers line up with three wide. Play action. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. There it is. A new all-time school record for the most passing touchdowns in a career. When the coach was recruiting this kid, he told him he's going to let him throw the ball around. But he had no idea he was going to put it in the end zone 
this many times. You know, Coach, he runs this offense better than anyone in school history. He's so efficient and accurate with his throws, and he can move the ball down the field quickly and make it look simple. What a quarterback. Congratulations on the new record. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. to return. Here's the kick. Elliott fields it in the end zone. Makes a move. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 30-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. They'll work from the shotgun. Harper, back to throw. Looking. Throws this one out to the right. Got it to the senior. And he's brought down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at him. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. tackles him for a loss on the play. So he's tackled for a loss by the linebacker. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 43. The Bronco line up with two tight ends. Harper hands it off. They'll bring him down. Nothing going on that one. No game. Third and 11, ball on the 43-yard line. The Bronco come out in a bunch formation. Back to pass, throws in a hurry. And it's the senior. That won't be enough to move the chain. That's what I like to see, Chris tackling by the defense so he can't get away and get enough for the first. The Bronco line up the punt. He punts it. Carey signals for a fair catch. And he muffed it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. They'll go to work at the seven. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Steps up in the pocket with the throw. Here he goes. Rucker brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. They'll work from the shotgun. Johnson on first down. He's looking. He rolls out to the left. Throws it to the outside. Complete. And that was a big pass play. Nine yard gain on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 27. The Tigers set up in the gun. He lets it go. 
Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Brought down. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Bronco come out in the shotgun. It's a direct snap. He's in the open field. Peterson with a takedown. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Second and four. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he tacks on the extra point. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Western Michigan, seven. Clemson, seven. Western Michigan to kick this one off. Bush and Sherman back to return. He kicks it. Sherman fields it at the one. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll take over at the 24-yard line. Work from the shotgun. Throws a lob pass out to the left. Big opening. And he shoved out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 38. The Tigers line up with three wide. Across the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Oh, come on. Give the receiver a chance to catch it. I think he tried to, Coach. No, he tried to impress everybody by throwing it as hard as he could. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 38. From the gun. Johnson, back to pass. Steps up. He passes it. To the 20. He breaks free. Touchdown, Clemson. the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Elliott fields it at the one. 
This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone, and I don't see that happening again. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. Western Michigan goes with the ace set here. He drops back, and it's caught. Foster brings him down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 28. They come out with a big set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Johnson with a takedown. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Bronco come out in the ace formation. Peterson brings him down. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Bronco come out in a two-tight end set. And they hit him in the backfield. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 33. Western Michigan comes out in the shotgun. Throws. Complete. And they push him out. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The defense lines up with six DB. Harper steps back to pass. Looks. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. They'll try to pull it with a fullback. Peterson with a takedown. That's a three yard pickup. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. From the gun. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Four and 11. Ball on the 48-yard line. Western Michigan lining up the punt. Johnson boots it way up there. Sherman takes it to 14. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll set up shot at the 13-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Johnson on first down. Wants to throw outside. Satofi brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. One man backfield. Brought down. That'll be a pickup of a yard. One yard gain on the play. 
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 25. Johnson has five receivers lined up here. Looking across the middle. His receiver has it. Tackle. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten, ball right around midfield. Johnson with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. And he's got him on the fly. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Tiger line up with three wide. Johnson to the air on first down. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. It sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Yeah. High formation here. Cut. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Kelly takes the handoff. They'll drop him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Johnson is back in the gun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. And that's a throw he should make every single time. Comes in for the field goal that could put them up by two scores. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's right down the middle. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1946. Fields it in the end zone. Tries to juke. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Harper drops back to pass. He's going left. Incomplete. Second and ten, ball on the 20. Western Michigan comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll give it off here. Moore with a takedown. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. They come out in a nickel. He's looking. Throws. And it's caught. And down he goes. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Right. 
The Bronco are lining up to punt it away. Johnson gets it off. Sherman fields it for 34. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Going with the shotgun here. Hut. Hut. Johnson drops back. He's looking for his man. Complete. A four-yard loss. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Clemson lines up with three receivers. Johnson set to go to the air, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down at 14 to go. Ball on their own 35. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Throws this one out to the right. His back makes the catch. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Johnson lines up in the shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. Schifano brings him down. To the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. They'll bring in their dime package. Johnson drops the throw. Looks. He's going left. He catches another. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. Nine-yard pickup. Nine-yard game on the play. Second and one coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Three wideouts here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 22. Johnson back in the gun. Johnson with the give. Broke away from one. Big opening. Excellent open field tackle. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He can scoop. Touchdown, Clemson! He scurried through the defense that time and found the end zone. Yeah. 
And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Clemson 24, Western Michigan 7. is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. Elliott fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll take over at the 20. Western Michigan sets up in the eye. They'll bring him down. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Clemson calls a timeout. Third down and 12. Ball on the 18. They come out in a goal line set. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Clemson takes a timeout. The Bronco line up the punt. Johnson gets it off. Sherman fields it for 42. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. Finds a man. Right with a takedown. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there first. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and ten. Ball on the 28. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Looking over the middle. And it's caught. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The Tigers line up with three wide. Monroe takes a pick. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He's looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They brought the corner, and he got the sack, fellas. Yeah, great call in this situation. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. Looks, comes across the middle. Found his man. And that is not what this defense had in mind coming into the football game. Not at all, but you got to give credit to this quarterback. He's really lighting them up back there. He's making picture-perfect passes, and guys are catching everything. Already, he's got 300 yards throwing the football. Johnson, with three wide receivers, throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. 
Johnson lines up in the shotgun. Monroe gets the carry. Moore brings him down for a loss. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback in the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. And he's got it for the touchdown. PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Clemson 31, Western Michigan 7. They'll set up shot at the 16. The Bronco line up in a goal line formation. Imoatu gets the call. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Some second half adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Clemson 31, Western Michigan 7. Clemson got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He boots it deep downfield. Elliott fields it in the end zone. He broke his ankle. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards Clipping is the call, Touchdown. and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. They'll get the ball here at the 15-yard line. Elliott, the ball carrier. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. <laughs> Elliott gets another handoff. He tries to spin. Tackle. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Third and 11. Ball on the 14. The Bronco. Come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Under pressure. And they get the sack. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd line this kid up at defensive end every now and then. Wow. Can you imagine that? On third long type situations, he'd make a great rush in, Kirk. I like that. I like that, Kirk. The Bronco line up the punt. Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Sherman takes it to 45. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Right. 
They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They line up in an eye. Green on the inside handoff. To the 20, to the 10. Wilson brings him down. And they come up huge on that play. Oh, he sure did. He's a tough guy and always seems to have a little extra when he needs it. Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Monroe, on a counter, bounces off the would-be tackler. What a run! That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. to kick this one off. Allen and Elliott back ready to return. He hits a booming kick. Allen fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 20. They'll start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The Bronco come out in the ace formation. Elliott takes the handoff. With the spin, Peterson with a takedown. Zero yards on that play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Nickel defense. Inside handoff, and they make the stop. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. The Bronco come out the shotgun. He jukes it, and they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. The Bronco are lining up to punt it away. He gets it away. Sherman fields it at the 37. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10, ball on the 38. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Clemson lines up with three receivers. Johnson tosses to the left side. They'll bring him down. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. It's second down and four to go. Ball in their own 44. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looking. Comes across the middle. Got it to his receiver. To the 20. To the 10. Wilson brings him down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. Have a look at 
at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Yelling, the ball carrier, and they hit him in the backfield. Good job of wrapping up the big fullback and not letting go. That can sometimes be a tough thing to do to pull down a big, strong fullback for a loss. Nice play. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Johnson talking to the left side. And down he goes. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. It's second and goal. Ball on the 15. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. They go with the run. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. Excellent run that time, but it still won't be enough to move the chain. It's power football time, folks. Johnson steps back to pass. He's looking with the throw. He's in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. The Bronco go with the eye formation. Harper on the option. No game on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Western Michigan goes with the ace set here. Parker back to throw. Wants to throw outside. And it's the tight end. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. Western Michigan comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And he's drilled. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Parker with four wide receivers. Peterson brings him down for a loss. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. Third 
third down, 15. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Broncos have five receivers on this play. He might not be able to get the pass off. His receiver has it at the point. They knock him out, but not before he gets all the way down to the 31-yard line. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Western Michigan comes out with three receivers bunch. Setting up the play action, and he's going to come up with a sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Second and 13 coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. Oh. Elliott is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Look. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, Clemson 45, Western Michigan 7. It's first and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Elliott gets the carry. Brought down. Just about three yards there. Second and seven coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll bring in their dive pack. Elliott on the run. They'll bring him down. A couple of yards there. Gain of two on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Western Michigan comes out with an eye formation. Harper has completed every pass this drive. He's looking down the middle. And he came down with it. What a catch. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. It's almost as if the receiver told the defensive back, if you think you can cover me, I'll see you in the end zone. Yo. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Western Michigan lines up for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Porter has it at the five, throws a stiff arm. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. Warren to the air on first down. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Warren is back in the gun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking down the middle. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key. 
because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. The Tiger come out showing three wide. And he's taken down. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. And they're ready to punt this one away. Wilson gets it off. Elliott calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 29-yard line. What to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. They'll take over at the 29. Clemson has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. They'll make the sack. They just got to the quarterback for the fourth time today. This offensive line has to be able to protect the quarterback better. They're giving up sacks left and right. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 24-yard line. Western Michigan comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Looking. He takes off. Rodgers with a takedown. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. Good defensive play. Third and 11. Ball on their own 28. The Bronco. Come out in the shotgun. Harper back to pass. He's looking. Aaron and out long. It's deflected. And he's got it. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. It's first and 10, ball on the 24. Harper with four wide receivers. Harper on first down. Look. And they got it. Kirk, how many sacks do they have now? And that gives them five for the game. This offensive line has got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. Second down and 12. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. Looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. What a play by the true freshman. And now it's going to be fourth down. Boy, they've got a good one in this kid. Yeah, there aren't too many freshmen at defensive end that can terrorize a quarterback like this kid. will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Bronco set up in the gun. He's looking. He tosses it short. The senior makes the catch. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Harper is back in the gun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looks, rolling out to the right side, throws it to the outside, brought down. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Parker gives it up the middle. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Great. 
and he hits the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Clemson 45, Western Michigan 21. Looks like we're about to see the most exciting play in football, the onside kick. Here's the onside kick. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Tigers come out showing three wide. They're on a counter. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of about three. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 43. From the gun. Direction. There he goes. Fumble, loose ball. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Nice job there by the defense. The halfback was unlucky there. He had a good tight grip on the ball. The defender just made a play. One heck of a play. Yep. One heck of a play. They'll get the ball here at the 29. We'll start the drive at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Harper lines up in the shotgun, steps up, throws it to the outside. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Bronco. Come out in the shotgun. Harper set to go to the air. Under heavy pressure. Rogers comes away with a sack. Down goes the quarterback. Now they've got seven sacks. Man, are they fast. Once the quarterback hikes the ball, they're already in there. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 26. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He rolls out to the right. Into traffic, and it's picked off. Harper brings him down. They lined up in the same formation as the one before. Yes, they did. And in fact, they try to run the exact same play twice in a row. Great defensive adjustment to recognize the play there. Maybe this interception will make them think twice about running the same play over and over again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. From the gun. They keep it on the ground. Harris lays it on him. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Warren with three wide receivers. Bush gets another carry. He has some room. Excellent run that time, but it still won't be enough to move the chain. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Bush again, and they got him for a loss. Western Michigan calls a timeout. Hey. 
This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and it splits the upright. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Silver. to kick this one off. Allen and Elliott set to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Allen fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the coach is talking to his team about not turning the ball over again in this position. They'll go to work at the 20. Western Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. Rolls right, looking down the middle. Got it to him on the run. Western Michigan takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Brown lays it on him. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be up. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Broncos line up in an eye formation. Sullivan brings him down. Five-yard pickup for the tailback. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 34. And this blowout is finally over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Clemson played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2006. The final count in this one, Clemson 48, Western Michigan 21. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.